Vivo Pro Kabaddi Season 7 Grand Finale. Dabang Delhi KC up against the Bengal Warriors. There, that was Naveen. You know, look at that speed. And one thing that's very evident when you watch him, he is someone who just takes care of all the mistakes that the team makes. And he doesn't get caught too often. He's not tackled very often, Naveen Kumar. He's one of those consistent men. There you go. He knows the weak point and the weak area in that Bengal Warriors defense is the right cover. Mayu Shivtarkar has been a real, real slow starter. Yeah, and then it's not just what you have, it is what you do with the Warrior. Ravind the bad this time. Boy, oh boy. Delhi is oozing fire. They are oozing confidence. Yeah, and look at those great points in the last five games for. Oh, nothing. They are giving nothing. Forget about an inch, they want every yard of it. What's your prediction for this game <laughs> at the start of this one? Naveen rating one versus three, five nil lead for Delhi. Well, I did say on social media earlier today that it would be Dabang Delhi with the edge. I also said it in the pre-show, Paddy, so I won't discredit you. I watched it. Yep, and it is Naveen Kumar who continues that good work. Now, he's claiming more than one. Right at the beginning of the start, Dukki! He is conquering! Naveen Express is on fire! He's looking unstoppable! Evolves, elevates, excels! One of these three to try and push for that all out as no, well. No. Yeah, there, well done, Joginder. Oh, not well done, Joginder. You should just have stayed away. He was looking at the right corner. You should have focused on your presence on the mat as well. He saw you there and you saw him coming as well, but you could not take that invasive action. Anil Kumar threatening. Yep, there you go. This is the problem. But can he get there? Yes, he will. Yes, he will. That is a clean up act from Mohammad Nabi Baksh. That is simply sensational. From the captain of the Bengal Warriors tonight, the Iranian has arrived. And how? There comes the all out. But that is the end of the first half. And what a first half we have got. We expected a close KG contest in this grand finale. We have got just that. Chandran Ranjit is also a left raider, but he's a little softer in terms of the aggression that he possesses. There you go. Looks for the running hand touch. Instead, he runs into and collides with Mohamed Navibash on that left corner. That's why the Iranian all-rounder is such an asset. As captain, he is having the game of the tournament for himself. Oh, that is skillful. Now, this is a door I raid. As he got Vijay, not so far. So he'll have to keep trying. Then he tries Anil so far. Vijay falls for him. What was Joginda doing there? A friend in need. He's a friend indeed. Joginda is just far too tentative tonight. What's he doing here? Why did they not bring him out a substitute? They should have. Can he do what Anil did? Now he needs a touch point. Bonus is something that they've given. That's all. Does someone follow him in the lobby? That's just strange. That's just very strange tactically from the Bangali. Yet, whosoever slots himself in that right corner goes to the bench. Sukesh Ekde. Oh, beauty. 27 24. This could go any direction. Rinku Narwal has thrown in a massive tackle, though. When it's a right raider, Jiva turns into a right cover. They've negated the void that they had, which was number 14, Mayur Shivtarkar. He no longer has any role to play, really. What Baldev has is Chandran Ranjit. Okay, we talked about Ravinder Pell, and I cannot understand again for the life of me why Vishal Mane is waiting. For the second time in a similar situation. What is going on, Dabang Delhi? This is do or die. Yeah, unfortunately, I think the captain has to have a chat with Naveen Kumar. Instead, the captain is now on the bench, and he can chat to his other men on the bench from there, because his poor night continues. Joking the Narwal can't blame anyone else. It's his undoing. Slow on the retreat yet again. But there you go. Just reward for incredible consistency sustained over three months across the length and breadth of this glorious nation. The Bengal Warriors are the newest champions of Pro Kabaddi in Season 7. Their grit, determination, courage and togetherness has made them the new champions of Vivo PK7. Let the party merge into tomorrow, boys. You've earned it and you are the worthy winners of the trophy. The moment, the hour and the trophy belongs to... The Bengal Warriors. Oh, listen to them roar. They roared on the mat as well. They had the body strength and they also had the muscular brain that took them 
many notches higher than their opponents. Obstacles didn't block their path to hell. It just made them more resilient. You don't win championships by being normal or average. You've got to be incredibly special. And tonight, the Bengal Warriors were breathtakingly special in every single department. True champions, new champions of Vivo Pro Kabaddi, the Bengal Warriors.